channel, Mas Mas OSR, Old School Rotaries, and we're back at it again, and we're going to go through uh, these uh, Apex Seals. Uh, you might have seen the title, it said all you need to know about Apex Seals, so basically uh, we're just going to go through it right quick, uh, I'm not going to get too deep into uh, the materials made out of. Uh, what's the percentage of what metals? We'll leave that up to the engineers or the guys out there that are uh, pretty much uh, just making these uh, apex seals. I'm mainly gonna focus on all the old school uh, apex seals, uh, mainly from the 70s. I do have some from the 80s, just to uh, show the development and how far Mazda has come and where they started and where they're at right now. So I just wanna run that by you guys. Before we get started, I want to go through uh, what these Apex seals already do in a rotary engine. And these basically uh, take all the heat uh, when the spinning inside the engine. These seals take a beating, a real beating. Uh, you got compression going through them. You got cold cycles. You got the heat going through them. You got that spark going through them. So they take they take a really uh huge beating so um, these apex seals do uh, run a crucial part in the engine okay so right quick first and foremost we got the 10a apex seal this one came out in uh, 69 to 71 uh, when it came to the Cosmo uh, obviously came out a little earlier than that it came out in the 60s mid 60s 67 but uh, these are mainly commonly found in the uh, R100s and RX3 from uh, 69 to 71. And so early on, Mazda started with the one piece. It doesn't have the little corner piece or the little triangle piece. And it's about 60 millimeters uh, in width, but it's a six millimeter apex seal, meaning this right here, six millimeters. And it's about 60 millimeters long so um, this sits this way on the on the rotor so basically all you need to know is that uh, yeah this is a one piece six millimeter and according to Mazda it's made out of carbon and special metals I don't know what special metals are in there but um, I'm just quoting Mazda they for some reason they weren't specific about it but if you look at the scientific book uh, from Mazda it says it's made out of carbon and some special metal so it could be anything in there it could be aluminum it could be um, I don't know uh, uh, iron um, but basically that's all you need to know it's just a six millimeter apex seal and it's a one piece and if you're running a 10 a in your R100 RX3 or Cosmo this is what you got in there all right so moving on all right next we got the 12a twin distributor apex seal from 71 to 73 and these were commonly found on the rx2 and the rx3 and as you can see it's just like the 10a uh, this one's a little longer it's uh, 70 millimeters and it's six mils or six millimeters just like the uh, 10a so six millimeters here so Mazda were yet to change the size on the apex seals other than the length uh, obviously the rotor was a lot wider so they had to make this one 10 millimeters wider all you need to know that it's a it's a 12 a apex seal it's a one piece and it's a six millimeter and it's a carbon uh, we all know it as a carbon apex seal so that's all you pretty much need to know about the, the 12 a uh, twin distributor uh, apex seal so next, uh, we're moving on to the uh, SA RX7 uh, 12A Apex Seal. And I wanted to show all these together because uh, uh, that way you guys can see the, the difference. So Mazda went from the 10A 6mm, then it went to the 12A 6mm. But once we get to like the, the late 70s, 78, 280 from the SA uh, RX7, uh, 12a Mazda just uh, switched it up to a two-piece on the 12a I'm gonna show you guys the 13b how uh, early on Mazda went this this route but as far as 12a uh, they that's when they decided to change it into a two-piece so this is from an RX-7 and basically all you need to know from this is that it's it's not a six millimeter anymore 
it's a it's a three mil that's what a lot of guys refer to or three millimeters so it went from six millimeters to three millimeters basically half the size and early on Mazda um, according to Mazda these were made out of 80 percent iron and some kind of special metals like Mazda uh, decided to go this route after the, the carbon just to make them a little stronger make them last a little longer but yet they were still in development trying to figure out what worked and what not uh, what did not work so uh, we could move on to uh, don't want to talk too much about the 80s because uh, I like to stick to uh, more more of the 70s but uh, I just want to show you guys something that's pretty interesting so if you look at the corner piece here uh, the ones from the early uh, RX-7 12 A's uh, if you look at the little corner piece right here it's real straight and the later RX-7's has like a little there's a little radius on this one I don't know if the camera's capturing it and this one's straight so I just thought it might be interesting to show you guys uh, basically uh, that's all you pretty much need to know about uh, the SA um, they switch from six millimeters to three millimeters and it's mostly made out of iron it's not carbon anymore which i wouldn't doubt there's some kind of carbon inside this material or inside these metals or some kind of aluminum and again uh, we'll just leave that up to the engineers uh, all you need to know is just that uh 78 to 80 12 a let's say they went from uh six mil to three mil and it's a two piece now it's not a one piece you got two pieces you got the corner piece and the reason why Mazda decided to go this route is to have better sealing so they were having issues with these sealing up properly so they figured if they just sliced it here um, it'll help the, the engine you know build better compression seal up better and last longer by changing the material from carbon to to more of an iron uh, steel piece so uh, and 81 it didn't change much the only thing that really did change was just for some reason the corner piece it's got like a little different shape so all right last but not least we got the 13 b apex seals here and uh let's go ahead and start with the uh early 13 b apex seal over here so we got the 74 to 77 13 b apex seal uh most commonly found on the rx4 rotary -E pickup and then on the cosmo so this was your standard apex seal here for uh, those three vehicles from 74 to 77 this particular apex seal is from uh, uh, rx4 and it's a uh, three millimeter and it's a two-piece so that's all you basically need to know uh, from this 13b apex seal uh, from this year from 74 to 77 it's uh, a three millimeter they jump from six millimeters to three millimeters and it's 80 millimeters so if you notice Mazda went from six millimeters to three millimeters it went from 60 millimeters on the 10a to 70 millimeters on the 12a now with the 13b it jumped another 10 millimeter which is 80 millimeters so basically Mazda kept going wider in size but more narrow on on, on size uh, with the apex seal so yeah that's all you basically need to know for, for this apex seal right here it's a three millimeter two piece uh, it's 80 millimeters in length and uh, it's mainly uh, made out of um, iron and some you know other metals so uh, I did put these out here just to show you guys now the difference in the development on the 13b you don't want to take too much time on the 80s but uh, this is pretty cool and interesting Mazda went from three millimeters to three millimeters in 85 still three millimeters two piece but like in 86 and 91 Mazda jumped from three millimeters to two millimeters and a three piece so okay so if I could just go ahead and uh, narrow this down for you guys or like some may say um, in a nutshell basically Mazda went from six millimeter carbon to three millimeter mostly iron to two millimeter uh, 
more softer metals like aluminum and, and you know they just threw a bunch of stuff in there to make it stronger and make it uh, a lot softer so uh, so yeah that's basically all you need to know about apex seals uh, models that went from six millimeters to three millimeters down to two millimeters and the material did change but that was because Mazda was trying to make something strong and soft at the same time and something that could uh, seal up as well so uh, there you go guys so you got a three piece two piece and one piece so Mazda has come a long way from the 70s up until now but you know I'm still be working on these right here six millimeters some three millimeters but definitely six millimeters all right guys well thanks for watching